Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It's 641. Welcome back. Well, can you imagine the middle of summer saying that it's a beautiful 25 degrees outside today? Well, it's actually a phrase that you often hear outside of the U.S. Yeah, we're breaking down the Celsius scale and why America is one of the few countries not using it in this week's Weather Wise. Hello, Amber. Well, Tim and Alicia, that 25 degrees Celsius is actually 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And we see it all the time. Our thermometers always read Fahrenheit as well as Celsius. But most of us, we don't even use it in the United States. We don't use the Celsius side. In fact, it's something we largely ignore our entire lives. The Fahrenheit scale is associated with the non-metric system or the imperial system. And the Celsius is associated with the metric system, which is what the rest of the world uses. And you're probably more familiar with that left box the Fahrenheit, the miles per hour, the feet per second, then you are this right box. Now, the Fahrenheit scale was invented in 1724 by Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. Zero is supposed to be the temperature of equal parts ice, water, and salt, which makes 32 degrees the point where pure water would freeze. And for boiling water, well, that would be 212 degrees. In 1742, a Swedish astronomer named Anders Celsius came up with a different scale. It was meant to simplify everything. And the Celsius scale that's zero and 100. So zero is the freezing point of water and 100 is the boiling point, or at least these are the uh, kind of areas of, of change here. You'll see what I mean. So if you compare the two, we have ranges higher and lower than these. Both can go negative and both go higher than these numbers. These are just the points, the markers to show you what the same value would be in each scale, the boiling point and the freezing point. But why does the U.S. not follow along with the rest of the world in using Celsius? Well, it dates back to the British Empire. Fahrenheit was used, which was then brought in with the British colonies to America. And once the Celsius scale was invented, the rest of the world decided it was easier. But the United States stayed with the non-metric system, along with Liberia and Malaysia, and they continued to use Fahrenheit. It's not clear why Americans haven't converted, but some researchers suggest that it's because we got so used to it and we don't want to change. And they may be on to something. A 2015 Rasmussen poll asked Americans if we should switch to the metric system and adopt Celsius as our main temperature scale. 64% said no, while 21% said yes, and the remaining 15% was undecided. So it looks like we're perfectly fine with being different. Since scientists in the United States use the non-metric system, they always have to convert when working with scientists outside of our country. This doesn't come without its challenges. In 1999, a NASA scientist failed to use the right measurements, and it resulted in the loss of a one 125 million dollar satellite. A simple math error resulted in the end of a 10 month journey to Mars and millions of dollars in research down the drain. Tim and Alicia, we use the metric system quite often in weather. I have to quite often do a Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion because a lot of the tools that we use are in Celsius because we're using the same tools as other meteorologists around the world. Interesting. And what I think is really fascinating is that it came to America, the, the imperial system, from the from Britain, mm -hmm. right? Yep. British colonies. But England is not using it exactly. anymore either. <laughs> You Very know. good point. They changed, and we decided not to. Right. Some, some researchers just say, you know, we just we, we found what works, we like it, and if we were to change it now, it would cost a ton of money sure. to our economy sure. to change everything and over. They, and they said we're just stubborn. I just can't. Might be that too. I can't <laughs> imagine changing. So Very I, interesting. I get Neither it. can I. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Amber. When we return.